Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough and it's time to start the penultimate level of the story, I think. But we still have to go through every level again, but uh, this will be one of the last for uh, the story and I think I may have to go through this level twice because I practiced a little bit earlier to get all the Pokemon in one, like in one go. But uh, I missed one Pokemon only because it didn't show up. But well, it did show up, but I had to rely on luck at the end. So let's just start Zivali, and it's one of my favorite levels. It's a really fun level with it, it, just the way it's set up is really fun. But some of the Pokemon require a lot of good timing, and some of them require a new upgrade, which I need to use to uh, take better pictures of them. Like get in better positions, take better pictures, but I don't have that yet. So uh, I'll be taking quite a lot of bad pictures in this level because I don't, I can't get into position because I ain't got the upgrade. So uh, yeah, sorry about that. But like I said, I'll go back to the game. If I have any bad pictures of Pokemon, I will go back to the game to get better pictures of them. Why? I don't know. It's not important. Uh, like, it's not important in the grand scheme of things, but it's what I want to do. So, oh yes, I forgot to read the description. I'm sorry. It's already two minutes in and I'm not even starting yet. This river is rapid. I'll have to concentrate hard or I could miss a good shot indeed. So, you you basically um, uh, float in down a river. So, let's start it. So, the first Pokemon we will see... Uh, we have to kind of lead it over to land during the water and then hit it with a pester ball to make it to make it come out of the water. You know what I mean now. Can you tell what Pokemon it is? Uh, that's a good spot, I think. So yes, uh, there will be Squirtles here and uh, you don't need to worry about the other ones there. They will disappear though once... Uh, ooh. Oh, that's a good picture of Squirtle, I think. And as you can see, there's loads of Pokemon over here. Uh, this monkey is pretty important because just keep leave the match caps jumping out the water. I actually need you. Never mind. I'll get you again. Uh, just keep hitting a pester ball here near where monkey is. Go away, Dratini. And a magic cap will jump out and then boop. <laughs> you fling the magic cap over the uh, over the mountain here. So these are Geodudes, you don't need to get them all, just throw a pester ball at one, take a picture, and when he falls, he will like um, make a loud noise on the ground, I'm assuming, and then a uh, sand shrew will jump out and be like, what the heck? But if you can hit them all, you can actually lead the sand shrews to, you know, different places with food to get better pictures. Why am I not able to take pictures? I don't know. But with these two Geodudes, you need to hit them off the wall at the same time. To get that Graveler on top to uh, fall. So once you hit this do quickly try and hit the other one. Or you'll start climbing back. Okay, I think I've done that too late. Okay, how did I miss? I do not know. But uh, I, don't worry, I'll come. I'll go back through the level again. So I don't think I took a picture of the other monkey. There's a there's a place further ahead to take a picture of uh, take a good picture of monkey. But uh, coming up to this area, the a star you will start floating in the sky. Just take a picture of it. Don't hit it with a Pest a ball or food, and it will start to float around you. Wait a minute, what? Oh, I, oh, I was thinking then, where's Magic Cap gone? So take a picture of this Magic Cap if you want. Did I miss? Oh my gosh! And hit it with a pest ball. This is the. Why can I not hit it? This is the pest ball that uh, man, um, that uh, the Magic Cap that monkey threw over, and a Gyarados will uh, appear out of the waterfall. There's three gravel up there, we can't do nothing with them yet, so you can hit Gyarados with like a pesto ball and whatnot, and it'll make him angry. But I don't think you get any better points there. Uh, so another star you will, uh, will come up here, we only need one really, we don't need all three. All three are just for like mo better Pokemon bonuses, like more Pokemon in a picture bonus. And another one will come up here, oh I got them all, nice. So they will go in the whirlpool here, and then they will evolve into Stammies. So, taking a picture of Stammy is really difficult. I wanted to take a picture of that, um, Dratini. I done it! Nice! So, with this Royal Pool, throw, I think it's five Pestivals into it. Or four Pestivals, and a Dragonite will appear. This is one of my favourite, uh, Gen 1 Pokemon. Such a cool Pokemon. 
So with this squirtle here, this is really important. So line up the squirtle with this monkey up here. And then throw a pest. I missed, haven't I? Well, throw a pest ball here. And it will knock monkey off. That is important because this level has a secret exit of, of sorts. So I want to throw apple here so I can maybe get that goldeen. Because goldeen only appears out of the water and it's all luck based. So, uh, uh, magic harp. No, I don't need you. So with this monkey here, this is where you get the good picture of monkey. But I don't want to do it. So monkey will go on the red switch and we will end the level. And that will be it for the um, exits, I think. I remember I had so much trouble trying to find that. Like, I, I had a feeling Monkey was needed, but I just couldn't think how to... I was hitting Monkey with pester balls and whatnot. Oh, that's nice. And... Oh, hello. Well, anyway, I just couldn't figure out the... Um, I couldn't figure out the puzzle, I guess, until I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try hitting the squirtle, and then I've done it. Oh, hi, Todd. What a surprise to see you here. You look uh, very safari-like, Professor Oak. I suppose you'd like to know why I'm here. Ah, well, I received some informa in interesting information at the Pokemon Lab. It seems that there are six Pokemon signs hidden on this island. Pokemon signs, hmm? Haven't heard of those before. They have something to do with important Pokemon that are here. The signs are scenery which seem to resemble Pokemon. One sign is a mountain that looks like Doug Dugtrio. I came here to look for it. However, I can't go any deeper into the island, so I can't find it. Have you seen a mountain that looks like a dug trio? Oh, I have an idea. If you find this Pokemon sign, take a picture of it like you would a Pokemon. We might discover clues from the pictures and the places where you took them. Shall I repeat this information? No thanks. I, I, sorry if that's a bad press or uh, imp impression. I, I've forgotten how to do his voice. <laughs> Wait, I will add a page for Pokemon signs in the Pokemon report. See you later. Okay, so yeah, we have to basically take pictures of, like, scenery that looks like Pokemon, as he just said. And th this was pretty difficult to find some of these, but I know where they all are. So we took 42 pictures then, so let's see which ones we can include here. Uh, I don't... Oh, that's a good picture of Squirtle. I'll only be doing one level per part now, I think, even though we've only got one more uh, level to do. And the next level, the final level, ain't even like a level. It's weird. Uh, I did take a picture of Goldeen. Oh, okay, so I don't know why I was trying to get it. Uh, they're both pretty bad pictures of Monkey, but, uh, well. Uh, I skipped all the way over here then. Uh, that's a good picture of Geodude. It's the only one I took, though. But I still like it. Uh... Oh, I like that. Oh, but maybe that one will get more because they're more jolly. Yeah, I'm going to um, use that one, even though I think I like that one more. Oh, well. Uh, magic Camp now, is it? Uh, no, I'm not going to... That Magic Camp one I got is really good already. So, I got a good one of you, Gardos. I guess that one, I don't know. Even though you're covered with water there. It's the biggest one I've got of you. That's the Magic Camp one. Uh... I, I guess that's... I, I think I'm taking a picture of the star here. That's further ahead. So, uh, yeah, I've never taken a good picture of Stammy, by the way. It's so difficult to take good pictures of these because they're moving so quick and whatnot. Plus, I had to rush to get the Dragonite and uh, the, you know, uh, Squirtle and Monkey. But that Stammy looks like it's got a tail because <laughs> it's just teeny. Uh, I'll just use that one. I don't know. Uh, what else have we got? Dratini? I untuck one of Dratini, okay. I'll take a pair of one of that. When I do it again... Huh? Oh, I like that picture a lot. Just like the water, the vibrant water, and, you know. I think it looks good. What the heck was that? Oh, yes, that, that was the magic app. So, to press Oak, I have lots of pictures for you. So, do I need to take a picture of now? Graveler, Sand Slash. Uh, Graveler, Sand Slash. And I think that's it. Maybe, I don't know. So, Squirtle, let's see how much points you're going to give me. 880, that's really good. Uh, 800, ah, oh, not as good as I thought it'd be. Uh, that's just double, right? Hmm. There are the Squirtle in the picture. Yeah, just, just a head. How could you even tell that's another Squirtle? 
Oh, I don't know. Uh, Godin, yes, not a very good picture, but oh well. But it is Splash Him, which is very good. Um, wait, my Pokemon ain't in the frame? Yes, it was. You liar, Fresork. Uh, 430. 1000. Oh no, that's just. Isn't that just a normal pause? Like a good one, but just like average, I guess. Wonderful. But that was an okay picture of Geodude. Still didn't get 3000, but oh well. Oh, not very good size. 1000. I thought to get more now because it was jolly, but I don't know. I don't understand these picture ratings sometimes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Monkey. Uh, not very good at all. Yeah. 600. Oh, well, at least I, it did, I didn't get bad. I could keep getting points, so I guess that's an okay picture. Gardos. 860. Very cool. Oh, how powerful. I think he says that because Gardos was shooting a jet of water, so. Uh, Oh, okay, I thought I didn't have uh, I didn't have it in the frame. I was I was thinking, what the heck, Fresh Hawk? You're being too strict now. So two ten. Oh, okay, that was terrible. Okay, and stam here with his back to me. Eight hundred forty points though. Fifty. I think that's. Oh no, ten was the least I got for pause. I thought fifty was the least I ever had for pause then, but two sixty. Eight hundred. And doubles the points. No, I didn't get double the points, and I I, got, I keep skipping too fast. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that Press Orc actually gives you a clue uh, to the monkey puzzle, but I skipped over it too quick. I think after you do the cave, it says like uh, he says something like uh, Pokemon and bowling in the valley or something like that, and bowling is written in yellow, so and you kind of bowl the squirrels with the best of all. So six thirty, eight hundred. Oh, you can get a better one if he's doing his raw. Uh, which I think I caught, but I decided to use this picture. How many kinds of Pokemon? We need six more Pokemon to find. There's 63 in the game, yes. We need six. Yeah, six more Pokemon. Oh my gosh. This is the easiest math ever, and I'm messing up. But uh, we do need to go back for Graveler and Sand Slash here. Oh, here's something to make your search for Pokemon signs easier. Wouldn't it be great if the Zero One moved faster? Well, now you can use this dash engine if you want to go faster. It's easy to use. Press R to make the Zero One move faster. Shall I repeat this information? No, thank you. First of all, see the Pokemon sign page. Uh, Pokemon sign page in Pokemon Report. Okay. So yes, with this dash dash upgrade, we can move faster now in the Zero One. So Pokemon signs. Hmm, that looks like a. Kingler, a Pinsir, a Coughing, a Cubone, a Mewtwo, and a Dugtrio. It is said that somewhere on this island is a mysterious group of huge rocks. Surprisingly, if you look at it from a certain angle, it appears to be po a Pokemon shape. Ah, so I think that's like beach, uh, beach, tunnel, uh, volcano, river, cave, and valley. So I'm not going to go through them all. But uh, I kind of like finding these. These were really fun. I hope they add these Pokemon signs in the new Pokemon Snap, which would be awesome. So, uh, what do I want to do? Uh, oh, yes, Valley again. I'm actually, I don't have an upgrade yet, which I thought I should have had by now. So, I think it's determined by report score. I don't know. Uh, but uh, who cares about that? Let's just. Uh... Oh, I see. We'll be go. We'll be. I'll do. I'll get these last two Pokemon now, and then we'll actually be going through each level again to get the um, Pokemon signs. Hmm, that mountain looks suspicious, doesn't it? Hmm, looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> I'm not gonna take a picture of this one yet uh, because it's the valley and whatnot. So shall I? I don't know. Uh... No, I'll do it in order. You can do it now if you're following along, but uh, I'll I'll do it when I. Uh, uh, when I do it in order. <laughs> so, oh yes, if you press R, you, you go faster, which I want to do. Uh, do I want to get a better picture of Drat Dratini? You were way too fast then. Goldeen's going to come out next, I bet. So yeah, like I said, Goldeen only comes out of the water by chance, and she's actually competing with Magikarp and Dratini, so it's like a 1 in 3 chance she does show, and you've got to be quick because, uh, you know, 
to disappear and whatnot. So again, please hit these Geodude off now. Because I could just retry the level anyway. I don't need to go through the old level again. I'm not going to hit that one, am I? Yes, I am. Is he going to fall? He is. And uh, Sandslash will come out. Throw food for Sandslash. And it will be very happy. If I can take pictures of it. Did I take a picture of Graveler? I didn't see if I did. Oh, well. Let's just speed up throughout the level now. Look how quick it is. So, wait a minute. I can't move. Okay, that was weird then. So I want to take at least one picture of Staryu because I, I, I'm messing my buttons up now because I'm, uh, uh, cause it's inverted and I'm messing up. The reason why it's going so slow here even when I press R is because it, it's like a current there it is. So uh, I want to go I want to go down here and I want to get in front of Stami. See when Stami goes in here now I want to get in front of Stami here. I think this is the best place to take a picture of it. Yeah right here. Okay that was terrible but oh well. So let's just head on now, because we don't need to, I'm, I'm kind of glad I don't have to show you the monkey way now, because that is the way to the secret exit, and when you don't go that way, you just head this way. And I think once you get to, okay, I guess I'll just take a picture of your body, Dratini gone the way. So I think once you get past this path, no Pokemon will show up in the water here, yeah? as far as I can tell, because it's kind of like a no Pokemon zone between you and the gate here. Yeah? But that is it for the valley, I'm pretty sure, for all the Pokemon. So, I'm trying to think in my head who I got left. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Wait a minute, how could I still have some... Okay, wait a minute, I'm gonna... Oh, that's a terrible Graveler picture, but it's the only one I got, so the size is pretty good, though. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna pick that one, I think that's it. Oh yeah, and the Stammy. That's a good Stammy, well, okay Stammy picture. <laughs> just a teeny's uh, stomach area there. So let's see what Professor Oak has to say about these pictures. So let's see, Graveler size, 810, very nice. Oh, it fell, so yeah, I think as long as, as if you take a picture as soon as it falls, it, it'll be a good pause. So 1,200, and double, 4,000, very good. Sand Slash. Uh, 370, not too good. Oh, it's happy because I threw the food trim and he was all joyful and whatnot. Which is very good. And, ah, oh, no, over two, uh, 3,000. That sucks. And Stammy. I've got you another Stammy picture. Oh, that one was way better in terms of uh, size. But, oh, well. I've done it. Very good. So, to get the, uh, the next item, I think I may need to... Oh, I see. He's got something to say to me because he says, Wait, Todd, let's return to the lab. So am I going to get the other item? Please I am. Thank you. You take pictures at a good pace to make it work easier? I was just about to say that, Professor. Oh my gosh. It will come in handy for taking Pokemon pictures. Would you like to see rare Pokemon poses? Play this poker flute to make it happen. It's easy to use. Yes, this is the last item you get. And it will be used to hatch all the eggs uh, to find special po um Not to find, but to see special poses from Pokemon and whatnot. So, very good. The C button allows you to play the poker flute or, you know, the right analog stick you're playing on the Wii U. You can listen to different music by using... Uh, down button, I guess. Down C button. Try playing it often. So yeah, it has three different tunes, and some tunes, uh, get, uh some, uh, I guess certain tunes will have Pokemon, uh, give you more points for their pauses. They react to the music differently. Shall I repeat this information? No, thank you. No, thank you. So that is it, I think. Let me just check my Pokemon pot. I should have 59. So yes, yes, okay, I'm on track now. I just got the um, I just got the eggs to do, and then a special Pokemon. So, yes, we have almost caught every single Pokemon. So, in the next part, um, I will be hmm. I think okay. Let me plan my next part here. In the next part, I need to go to the tunnel to hatch the egg, and then I need to go to the cave to hatch the egg. And then that'll be it for the overlay on the side then, because I have caught every Pokemon. Then after that we will be focus focusing on each Pokemon sign in each level, then completing the last um, 
uh, because that'll unlock the last level, so I guess an overlay will be there for that level, but I, I just mean in general. Then when I start doing the challenge runs for each level, I will be taking the overlay off because I'll no longer be needing to show you which Pokemon I've caught and missed because I'll just be aiming for points and the best poses and whatnot. So yeah, tunnel, cave, and then beach for the first Pokemon sign. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I shall see you in the next part.